My name is Katie Foley. I'm the managing editor of a business magazine. Um, I did yes at um, Dyson School for Girls, probably a fair few years ago now. Um, our product, it took me about 20 minutes to remember what our product was. We did um, accessories with gerberas, plastic gerberas on kind of key rings and hair ties and those kind of things. But um, what I remember most is the products that other people did um, in our school. We had a couple of guys that did um, some great things with branding. They, they bought um, wholesale Bonds underwear and did like a massive branding exercise. I remember that because, you know, it was as a girls' school, everyone kind of went a bit nuts over that. Um, and then I remember when I was in my first couple of years of university, um, a family friend who'd done, it was a, a group of girls at St Cuthbert School who'd done, it was right when the, um, when the restrictions had come in from the airlines around what you could take on planes and it had to be in certain um, size of containers and in clear plastic bags and they were the first guys that I saw that produced kind of stuff that you could buy all in one that had the things that you could take on the plane and I remember being a bit jealous and thinking that was a really fantastic idea. Um, so I mean and in terms of my tips for students doing yes, uh, my first would be market validation. So really think about your market, talk to them, think about what they want. I know as high school students it's much easier to to do what you think they want because it's slightly easier and you don't want to have to talk to third formers. But um, I think it's you know really important to know your market, know what they know what they want. Um, my second would be to execute because you know a fantastic idea is nothing without execution. Um, work together as a team, though it might be slightly irritating at times, um, and really kind of project manage and get your idea um, through. My third tip would definitely be quality control. Um, I remember. You know, particularly when you're doing some kind of manufacturing based product, um, there were a few students who, a few teams who had products that they hadn't really quality controlled and when they fall apart when people break them, it's, you know, then you're talking about brand reputation which is a whole other kettle of fish. Um, I had a, um, there was a group that made stress balls that had, was basically flour and balloons that exploded and then I think our ones was, you know, the flowers on the hair ties that would come off when you put them on, so I definitely say quality control if you're doing something manufacturing based. And my other tip um, for more long term for students would be to learn a language because business is global now. If you want to be able to work for an overseas company, if you want to you know, get experience overseas, and I think you need to be learning a language, you need to be you know, interacting with people from, from different cultures because it's not just about New Zealand anymore. It's, the, it's your base, but um, you know, the kids they need to be able to, to work overseas as well.